I'm just checking this thing. I made a video a minute ago and it was totally out of focus. So I got my mirror to see if you can see me in the in the back. Yeah. I don't know why. I've never never done that before. I've always made videos and it was completely focused. This one didn't focus, so I gotta start all over again. Had to get a new battery in there. So yeah. So I was gonna make a video. Today is December the 22nd, 2017 is now <laughs> to, uh, 627 and I'm sitting in my main study uh, because my wife is sleeping in the dining room, in the living room, didn't want to turn any lights on and wake her up. So I came in here to show you my Friday reads. Uh, I've been kind of sick the last couple of weeks and I've basically been reading this book I got out of a, from a thrift store the other day called Henry Adams Scientific Historian by William H. Jordy and I've been reading this pretty steadily I've read 109 pages for those who don't know who Henry Adams is he's most famous for his book the Education of Henry Adams is considered one of the greatest books of the 20th century. He also wrote a, a seven volume history of the United States of America during the administrations of Thomas Jefferson and James Madison. Uh, the Library of America has, I, has published it. I just have the history of the United States of America during the administration of Thomas Jefferson. And um, I also, uh, this book, The Henry Adams of the Making of America, he goes into analyzing those seven volumes of Henry Adams' history of the United States of America during the administrations of Jefferson and Madison. He goes through those seven volumes and kind of summarizes it and sets forth his his view of American history, his philosophy, his philosophy, his view of it. I read this a couple of years ago. I don't remember much about it. I read this a couple of years ago. I I was really into Henry Adams a couple of years ago. I read biographies and letters. And if I see anything about Henry Adams, I collect it. I have a big collection down in the lower level. So I've been reading him basically. Today I volunteered at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, and I brought home, well, I have also been reading today, well, last Friday when I was volunteering at the Book Nook, I started reading IQ, which is a crime novel by Joe ID. Uh, says here he's a Japanese of American descent. He grew up in central, South Central Los Angeles and worked in a number of different fields before writing his first novel, IQ. Uh, once in a while I'll read a crime novel just to break from serious literary fiction. And I was reading this last week when I was at the Book Nook and I bought it today for, you know, for a dollar and I've been reading that. I've read about 83 pages. I also bought the crime novel today, The White, the Whites by Richard Price. Uh, I have a couple other novels by him, Clockers and Lush Life. I have not read him, but I collect him. Also, I got at the Book Nook, I bought My Absolute Darling, a novel by Gabriel Tollett. I've seen this reviewed by people in Booktube. And it looked interesting. Also, the setting of the novel is Mendocino, California, which when I was really young in high school during the summers, I would hitchhike up to Mendocino and sleep on the beach and smoke a lot of grass and walk around Mendocino looking at the art, which I didn't have any money to pay for. It was so out of my... Mendocino is like an, an, an art colony, and of course it's famous for its marijuana. And uh, that was many years ago. That was like, I graduated from high school in 1970. So I haven't been there since, 
Well, I did go up there probably in the early 70s. I drove up there with some friends one time. But that was a long time ago. Maybe someday I'll go back to Minasino. I got in the mail today this book I had pre-ordered a while back, The Uncommon Reader, A Life of Edward Garnett, Mentor and Editor of Literary Genius by Henry's, not Henry, Helen Smith. Uh, he was editor to people like, writers like Joseph Conrad, Henry Green, D.H. Lawrence. Uh, so I got that in the mail today. Maybe I'll, I'll read it next year sometime. So yeah, like I said, I've been kind of sick. I haven't been able to read my Christian books in the morning. Well, this morning we got up really early, had breakfast, went grocery shopping. I came home, fiddle farted around, fed the birds wrote my diary and then I went to the book nook and uh, it was it was not busy it wasn't really slow either and I read like I said I read IQ and I read some Henry Adams the scientific historian I've been basically reading this the last couple of days looking at other books like I looked at this book last night Henry Adams and the making of America by Gary Wills and I looked at this Henry Adams, The History of the United States of America during the administration of Thomas Jefferson. I don't have the second volume, which is on James Madison and the administration, which I should get some. I should get it after I read this. I got this this year, I think, at some Goodwill or Salvation Army. So that's what I've been reading. That's what I got at the book nook. That's what I got in the mail. And in my diary. Well, you know, yesterday was the official day of winter. I didn't know that until I looked at my calendar. The 21st, winter begins. So today is the 22nd. And I ended on page 1,127 today. So tomorrow's a Saturday. I might go to near, I might go to thrift stores tomorrow around where we live. I was today, but I after I got out of the book nook, I was feeling so sick I came home. So I'm hoping you're having a good week. You had a good week and that you'll have a good weekend. I just want to check in. I don't want you to think I've disappeared. Some of my favorite people have not made a video in over a month. And sometimes have even stopped completely making videos. and Which is kind of disappointing because I really like booktube and watching videos and seeing what people read. And I like your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And hope all is well, and that you have a good weekend. Bye.